This is Sal, my beautiful wife, painting the name on the front of the van. Don't get my bum. It's too late, I've done it. Stream close up with shakiness. The van itself is a Mercedes 1983 2.5 litre diesel. Could do a little bit of a bigger engine in it really. It's quite um, sluggish up hills but got a fair bit of torque on it and it probably reaches to about 60 mile an hour on a good run. And we bought it on... Uh, we bought the van in 2007 April. That's now 2008 April. And uh, we're now going to do some more work on the old girl to make it look a little bit more fancy and a little bit more homely. Um, also a bit more work on the outside as well. Right, well here we are inside of Rosie. And at the moment this is the back view taken from the front. And again, just a slightly different angle to see the seating area at the back. Here is where we do all the work, obviously. The fridge, the sink, covered underneath the sink, woohoo! And the cooker. Moving along curtains we've only just recently put up as we're now starting to redeck the inside of this out so unfortunately I didn't get any footage of this before we started doing a lot of work on it, it was a lot worse state than this here is the seating area for and the table for lunch, tea, breakfast, whatever When we first got the van, I decided to fit a little 7 inch LCD screen at the front with a camera at the back to see for reverse. Nightmare job, really, just trying to figure out where to put the wires from front to back. So basically, the wires were hidden from through the outside, obviously, at the back, and then along all these cupboards inside all the way along till we get around about the end here cab's a bit basic at the moment so what we're going to do is try and give it a bit of a makeover at the front there possibly do something with the dim old ceiling up there or roof and with these chairs to make them more comfortable they had been cleaned when we got this, but we're deciding that we're going to recover them, give them a bit more sponge effect for your bum, and so on. Rosie's Diner. Put the lead coming from it so that you can put things like hair dryers and all that kind of malarkey into it. 
and obviously another leisure battery is pretty much under the seat at the front of the van and now up at the top a little bit of work was done up there for a nice new cozy comfy bed snug as a bug in a rug up there all lovely and yellow and bright and the sunshine coming through although the curtains are closed at the moment the reason for doing this video of course is is that we're now going to uh, re-upholster all of the chairs and seats to make it look even more cozy and bright in here and then hopefully that's most of the inside done it's pretty tidy already and then we'll be working on the outside and now da -da 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 -da. This was a bit of a state when we first got it, so it's now been recreated with a nice little corner sink, just an ordinary port loo and of course the shower, like so, the soup dispenser and of course a mirror and the all very useful tile rack and shelf all in all much better than what it was before a little bit tight in here mind you because there is a cupboard still up there so when you're sitting on the loo you do have to mind your head and mirror accessory for the ladies This is the flooring that we're now going to replace, which is pretty dull and boring. And hopefully, when we replaced it with our choice, it's going to look a damn sight better than it does. Hence, brighten it all up yet again. Lovely jubbly. Okay, here we go. Flooring. I'm no expert at doing flooring, so I guess I'll start by taking off some of these grips all around, take the table out of the way, collapse that and then do a nice join over there we hope, haha <laughs> still there you go, got to give it a go haven't we and hey presto, a lot of swearing and messing about a new floor Nice one, Kev. Nice. Nice. Lovely. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Swollen, keep them doggies rolling raw hide through rain and wind and weather, hell bent for leather, wishing my gal was by my side. All the things I'm missing, good vittles, love and kissing. I waited at the end of my ride.